This video is going to show you how to use the 2017 version of Google Sheets to linearize data from an experiment. In the experiment that I have on the screen right now, the experimenter has set the distances to be measured and the result is in the force column. So the distance is the independent column and the force is the dependent because it depends upon what the experimenter set. The independent column of information will go on the x-axis and the dependent information will go on the y-axis. So that's um, whenever we're making our charts it's easiest just to think x, y when setting up the chart. You can switch it later, but this will be easiest to start with. To begin with, I need to select my data. I'm going to click on cell A2 where it says distance, hold down the shift key, and go down to 12.19. Then I'll choose insert and scroll down to where it says chart. And on the chart editor, it pops up. You can see data and customize, and the data is selected. Chart type, not a column or part, or chart. I'm going to choose scatter and I can see that it's either an inverse or an inverse square graph. Great. Now I'll click on a cell in the spreadsheet, click on the graph and press the delete key. If you want to delete the graph you need to click on the spreadsheet first then the graph and press the delete key. So let's take a look at one over the distance. I'm going to click on D2, cell D2 and I'm going to type 1 divided by D the little space parentheses 1 over m because that would be the units. So I'm going to look at 1 over d and 1 over m for the units. In the cell beneath that which would be d3 I'll type equals 1 divided by and then I'll choose the distance 0.30 which is cell a3. You can see where it says a3. I'll hit return. Now I'll do the same thing to copy down the information. I'll click on cell d3. A little box in the right hand corner pops up. I'll drag it down. So there's the information copied. Now I want to copy the column that's the B column into the E column. I'll type equals, click on the word force, and that copies it over. Then I'll click on the word force, a little box in the right hand corner pops up. I'll drag that down as well to copy everything down. So I copy the equation, not the information. Perfect. Now let's make a graph. I'll click on D2, hold down the shift key, click on 12.19 in the bottom right hand corner. Oops. Try that again. There we go. And now insert, chart, scatter plot. So chart type, click on that, go down to where it says scatter. Great. Ooh, it's straighter, but not quite straight enough. So I'll click on the spreadsheet, click on the chart, delete. I'm going to look at 1 over d squared. So I'm going to change my title at the top from 1 over d. I'll type it to d squared. And then my units will not, no longer be 1 over m, my units will actually be m squared, so caret 2. Perfect. My formula says 1 over a3, I want it 1 over a3 caret 2, so it's 1 over a3 squared. Click on that cell, it says 1111, and a little box pops up in the bottom right hand corner, drag it down, set. Now highlight the title, hold down the shift key, I'll go down to where it says 12.19 insert chart looks great well not really it's a bar chart so chart type go down to where it says scatter now it looks great so that's a great straight line but I want to see the trend line and I want the equation and I want to know how good of a fit it is so in the chart editor on the right where it says data is highlighted now I'm going to highlight custom so I clicked on custom it says series so I'll click on a little triangle that points down for series It'll make a drop down screen. Trend line, great. So I'll click on the little thing over here. It says trend line. And I'll even change the color of it. So now it's red. And now I want to know how good of a fit it is and what the equation is. So where, where it says label, right now it says none. I'm going to choose show r squared. So I want r squared to be as close as 1 as possible. So it's a really good fit. And it's a really good fit because I've contrived the data myself. It's not a true experiment. And then for the label, right now it says custom, so it says trend line for force, and you can see on the chart editor where it says trend line for force. I want to change that to an equation. So label, it says custom, and there's a little triangle pointing down. I'll click on the triangle and select use equation. So now there's the equation, 3x plus 12. And I know the fit, r, of r squared is equal to 1. So 3x plus 12, that's great, but that's not quite the equation. Remember, on the x-axis, it was an inverse squared function that I applied to it. So that x that's appearing in the graph is actually a placeholder. The equation is really 3 1 over x squared plus 12 because in the x column 
I perform the math function of inverse squared.